let's take a look at uh, what's been happening in the Eastern Mediterranean in the sort of first quarter of 2023. And there's been lots of activity. We're going to look at four countries today. We're going to look at Egypt, Israel, Lebanon and Cyprus. And we're going to start with Egypt. So the first discovery, which was announced in January 2023, was the ED2X. That's in the East Damanhara block. It was onshore Nile Delta found a 43 meter gas bearing reservoir interval with a gas water contact down at 2627 meters now it's only a sort of three kilometer tie back to nearby infrastructure vintage all operate and uh, you can see the partners there so moving west from the nile delta we get into the western desert and we're going to have a look at bado which is a discovery of field which was tested by tag oil and in may 2023 they were testing oil from the abu roche f formation now these are uh, multi-fract horizontal wells and it was the bed 17 it's uh, currently undertaking a 30-day production test it's a kind of heavy oil it's uh, pretty much unconventional, so this is the concession area here, and there are four areas and very large accumulation. It, it's perhaps got as much as 530 million barrels of oil in place, and that's according to RPS Energy. The plan would be, if uh, the test is successful, Tag Oil's looking for an FDP, and it's only for a, a limited area. It's this east central area. The well that's being tested is located here, and if it's successful, going ahead with a field development plan with 20 horizontal multi frac wells in this east central region. Although the, the stoic across the entire concession is actually very large, we're only talking about some 25 million barrels uh, in this East Central, and that's a 2C estimate. So we'll watch this space and report back when we get news of that. Now, offshore in the uh, Nile Delta, well, in January of 2023, Nargis 1 was announced as a gas discovery. Now, this is operated by uh, Chevron with partners uh, ENI and uh, Thawa Petroleum. It found a 61 meter gas bearing interval, and they're in Miocene and Oligocene sands. It's a four way dip closure, so a kind of conventional structural trap, drilled by the Steneforth drill ship in 3009 meters water depth. Talk that it might be as much as 3.5 TCF of gas. We'll wait and see, but uh, there was another well pointed out here on the map that was the Thuraya well drilled by ENI and unfortunately that was announced as a dry hole now that was supposedly an HPHT prospect a Zor analog Zor is located here up towards the border with Cyprus Thuraya was actually located sort of on the border here of, of Israel and Palestine the Gaza marine area so could have been quite a significant find for all of these countries but uh, Unfortunately, it was dry, so we'll see what follow-up activity there is in that area. As well as uh, drilling activity, there is the EGAS uh, 2022 bid round. Now, this involves six offshore blocks, and there's four uh, highlighted here in the east with these red blocks outlined here, two over in the western area, and six are onshore here in the delta area. Now, this is the Egyptian natural gas holding company known as EGAS. And uh, the round has been extended now until the 1st of June. That's the closing date, 1st of June, 2023. So lots of information in Trove if anybody's looking in that region. Now, we do know that here's a close-up of Zor, and these are some of the prospects that have been highlighted in this region here, the Miocene and Oligocene age prospects, and kind of analogues for the Zor feature. So more information available in Trove. As well as the Eastern Med, Egypt's got another round ongoing. And that is the EGPC 2023 bid round, which is taking place in the Gulf of Suez. Now, this is an international bid round, and it's for brownfields. So it's mainly Gulf of Suez, as I say, but some in the eastern desert as well. There are eight brownfields on offer, and they're shown here on the map. Now, this round closes on the 15th of June, 2023. Now, what you can see here is some examples that we show from the Trove database. So if you just want to get an understanding and maybe sort of reconnaissance, a scoping study for these opportunities, they're all available in Trove. You can see Russ Budrin, Zeit Bay and Russell Lush shown here. Moving on to Israel, the first export was announced in February of 2023. 
It's uh, Israel's first hydrocarbon gas liquids cargo, and it's uh, sailing for Europe. So this is operated by Energian. It's the Karish field. Uh, it's a 1.4 TCF field that came on stream back in November 2022. Now, this is the vessel here, the FBSO, and it's uh, in a water depth of some 1,700 metres, so very deep water, ultra deep water. And here's the structure for the Karish field, taken again from Trove, and it shows the early Miocene Tamar Sands play. And you can see here's the high, and basically it's a three-way up against this down-throwing fault here. Looks like there's possible extensions to Karish North and Karish East. Also in Israel, there is the fourth offshore licensing round. The bid round was launched back in December of 2022, and there are 20 blocks on offer. And you can see here the highlighted zones I, H, G, and E down here. So closing date for this, 29th of June, 2023. Announcements expected uh, towards the back end of July in 2023. Now, lots of seismic available over here, both 2D and 3D surveys. Moving further north, uh, we're now going to take a quick look at Lebanon. And we can see here that Biblos was the very first offshore well in Lebanon. And uh, in Block 9, we've really been awaiting for some time for the resolution of the median line here between Lebanon and Israel. That's all now been sorted, sorted back in October of 2022. Now, Biblos 1, drilled back in 2020, only had gas shows. The recent announcement is Qatar Energy have joined this consortium. Well, looks like it slipped to Q4 2023. It's a modest size prospect. It's known as Kana, and uh, Total Energies are going to operate. So the prospect's thought to extend into Israeli waters, but the plan is that Total Energies would pay royalties to Israel if there was an extension of the play across into Israeli waters. And so to Cyprus. So ongoing appraisal drilling on Aphrodite, the field here, it's located just in this uh, Block 12, it's operated by Chevron with partners Shell and Numed Energy. It's the number three, the Aphrodite 3 appraisal well. It's spudded in May 2023. It's the second appraisal well on an accumulation thought to be as much as 4.5 TCF. Now, the aim is to boost the certainty prior to the investment of some $3.6 billion in the Cyprus gas project. Now, it's worth bearing in mind that Aphrodite was actually discovered back in 2011, and it has taken quite some time here, but I think there had to be some resolution of international boundaries. So I think that's now been resolved, and indeed there have been some new license terms negotiated for this particular opportunity. Interestingly, each of these companies, when they awarded this block, was different. It was Noble, British Gas, and uh, Delic Drilling, now through acquisitions and takeovers, it's uh, Chevron Shell and uh, New Med Energy. We're now going to have a look at Block 6, highlighted here in red, and this area is ENI and Total Energies. Just uh, have a look around here. You can see that Total Energies and ENI really dominate up in this eastern area. We've also got the Korean companies, Kogas, and uh, over in the west, of course, ExxonMobil with Qatar Energy. So it really sort of the odd one out here is the Aphrodite block. So looking at block six in a bit more detail, and back in December of 2022, the Zeus One gas discovery was announced, and that's in block six. 105 metres of net gas pay in carbonate reservoir, estimated to be some two to three trillion cubic feet of gas initially in place. Drilled in ultra-deep water, 2,300 metres, with the Tungsten Explorer drill ship, shown here. E&I operate, Total Energy have 50%, and uh, it's the third consecutive discovery in the block after Kronos 1 and Calypso 1, looking really at uh, some hub development, and uh, that should probably be fast-tracked in this region. So there is a conference uh, taking place later in the year, in November, at uh, Limassol in Cyprus. We're uh, planning, both Ben and myself are planning on getting over there and uh, attending the conference. So if you are planning on going, please arrange to meet and uh, say hi. Look forward to meeting you. To summarise, well, there's uh, active bid rounds ongoing in Egypt and Israel. There have been some new, exciting uh, discoveries being made and one or two disappointing dry holes. There is huge remaining oil and gas potential throughout the eastern Mediterranean uh, region. And with many upcoming wells, we can see that there's going to be a lot more activity in this region. 
We're particularly going to keep a close eye on the second well offshore Lebanon, but uh, I think we've got somewhere like uh, 10 wells in the region that we'll be following. So come back on the channel and we'll give updates throughout the year. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. You'll be informed when we come out with a new video. And get in touch. There's the email addresses. Look forward to having you back on our channel before too long. Thanks and bye for now. And in 19... Uh, 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 uh.